What's poppin'? So today's video will be reacting to a pretty interesting video I found on YouTube and it is What's it like to grow up in Amsterdam? So we're gonna see, as an American I really don't know a whole lot like how Amsterdam is Um Like I know a little bit of it but not like You know, how it's like growing up there So uh, we're gonna check it out and uh, let's get it you're able to drive a car in the Netherlands when you're 18. You're able to drink, smoke, whatever you want, because that's when you become an adult. Nah. So it's, it's celebrated. Amsterdam is well known for its canals, bikes, coffee shops, and of course, the red light district. But how do young people here spend their free time, get around, and live? Meet Cosmo, a 19-year-old student born and raised in the Dutch capital. Today, he'll be showing us what his life in Amsterdam is like. Good morning and welcome in my apartment in Amsterdam. Or good morning and welcome to my apartment in Amsterdam. Come with me. And watch out because the stairs are very, very steep. I can tell. So welcome to our house in the city center of Amsterdam. My mother actually lives up these stairs. And then I live here. So this is my flatmate. His name is Baby. Don't get me wrong though. I live in New York City and there's some apartments I go to. Like my apartment, a lot of space. And you don't have to go through a little like alleyway, but there's other apartments I lived in or I visited that it was like that. <laughs> but maybe not, well, maybe not like that, that, but close enough. The party animal around here. But I have a very small kitchen and I have a very small bathroom. Yeah, it's like every very city very pretty small, much, but I'm shocked. Yes, I have like my that. own bathroom and my own sink where I can wash my face in the morning. Usually I just start out by having some fluffy white bread. I would just slather this in a lot of butter. We have to slather everything. Usually I wake up maybe 15 minutes because I have to leave. So this is the quickest thing I can do to really um, get the nutrients in. And it's basically just... Nah, I need more food, bro. In 2023, nah, Amsterdam more. was one of the most expensive cities in Europe to rent in. Oh. I've never moved, this is where I've always lived. So most people that I know that are maybe even 25 or 30 still live with their parents just because they cannot afford living somewhere in Amsterdam. The average monthly rent for a furnished one bedroom apartment is 2,300 euros. For me, it's, I would never leave, you know, if I don't have to. But now- Yeah, um, as an American though, it's pretty much that much, maybe even more. I mean, it depends where you live. So in New York City, it is one bedroom. Like maybe if you can add a bathroom, it's rare. I think you have to share a bathroom, but it costs like three thousand dollars a month. So more of that, but he looks like it's a little bit more room. Um, yeah, it's expensive, and that's why you see a lot of people live at home that's around my age or younger. Because it's like expensive, man. Like even if you're making a good paying job, you still can't really go out and do stuff. And for class. Luckily for Cosmo, his university is just a short walk away. That's good. When I finished high school, I was 17, and a lot of kids my age take a gap year, but I love being busy and I love doing stuff, so I didn't want to take a gap year. Cosmo is now in his second year of studying creative business. He hopes to work in media one day. If I would look at myself in 10 years from now, I'd probably be living in Amsterdam uh, with my partner um, and I'd probably be telling stories in some way or another. So these are one of the canals in Amsterdam. A lot of people park their car here, uh, but there are no fences. So one time my mother actually slid into the water when everything had kind of frozen over. And nah. It was winter and then a rescue team had to come and rescue her. But that's also one of the reasons why every kid in the Netherlands goes to swimming classes when they're very young, because things like this do happen. Um, wow. You know, you're always surrounded by water. Interesting, never knew that. Use a lot of force because the doors are very ancient. Yeah, the door crap. <laughs> Catholic, what's up? After class, it's time for a short break at home with his mother. When I got pregnant, people told me, What are you going to live? You can't raise a kid in the middle of the center. And I said, Well, no, I'm going to stay here. First of all, I love living here. 
and I am sure by the time he is 14, 15, he will hate me if I would tell him that I left the house. Cosmo and his mother share a close bond. His grandmother was born in Indonesia and also played a big role in his life growing up. There are a lot of people who are Indies or Indo, and that is people wow. who come from uh, Netherlands, India, which is former Dutch Indonesia, like my grandmother, for example, who was born in Jakarta, which was called Batavia at the time. That's why you will find a lot of Indonesian people here, a lot of Indonesian restaurants, a lot of Indonesian shops, you know, so there's just a lot of Indonesians here. In the afternoon, Cosmo travels across town to bring lunch to his friends, who are also the founders of a queer newspaper. It started all as a school project, really, but um, we really felt the necessity of a, a LGBT plus newspaper in the Netherlands because there's nothing similar that, that represents the youth in LGBT in the Netherlands yet. On the fourth page, Cosmo story. He wrote it all by himself and he got the whole spread. I was doing research on um, the hookup culture uh, with dating apps in the Netherlands among queer youth, um, which is a very big thing. I mean, hookup culture is very big here. Um, and I was very interested to see how, um, what, what effects that has on young people in the Netherlands and in the queer communities. In 2001, the Netherlands was the first country to legalize same-sex marriage before Cosmo oh, and his friends that. were even born. We always want to improve, you know, but it is true that it's still a tolerant city and uh, that we are really spoiled in that way. Uh, but you know, there's always space for improvement. And uh, as long as there is space, we will push it. <laughs> <laughs> So my main mode of transportation in the city is actually walking around. I love walking around. I know most Dutch people or people from Amsterdam, they cycle a lot. But whenever I can, I try to walk, if it's walking distance. Um, and otherwise, I, pay, I take public transport because it's actually free for students. Dutch teens can drive when they're 18, but in Amsterdam, using a car isn't exactly convenient. There are a lot of people in Amsterdam that live here that don't have a car at all because it's just a city that's very impossible uh, to get through with a car because as you can see, it's not really made for cars. Yeah. It's made for boats and horse carriages. So having a car in the city can be a little bit dramatic if you want to get a parking spot. Also parking is very expensive. So close. I think aging is definitely a big age in the Netherlands because that's when you become an adult. You're able to drive a car in the Netherlands when you're 18. You're able to drink, smoke, whatever you want because that's when you become an adult. So it's, it's celebrated. Wow. Often associated with adult life in Amsterdam is the red light district. It is actually the oldest neighborhood in Amsterdam, but of course most people know it for the window prostitution, and for the coffee shops and everything. And across from me right now there's also a few windows with women standing in them. Now we can film that, but it's something that you grow up with in Amsterdam and it's something that you respect. It's just a job, like other people are working a job and you ought to be respectful to them and uh, respect their decision in life. Mm -hmm. The Netherlands has consistently been ranked as one of the happiest countries in the world, coming in fifth place in 2023. So how- I wish we had that in the US. <laughs> the US. Oh my god. I think I moved to the Netherlands then. Young adult Maybe I'll be like more happy. <laughs> My least favorite thing about living in Amsterdam has to be the weather and sometimes the people, because the people can be a little bit closed off and a little bit rude sometimes. I think my favorite thing about living in Amsterdam definitely is the sense of freedom that you get here and also the versatility. Uh, I mean, the weather is versatile, the people are versatile, everything is just very versatile. So that's something that I really like. Amsterdam is definitely my home. I feel very at home here. I don't want to leave it. If I'd have to leave Amsterdam, I'd also leave the Netherlands and I'd go to another bigger European city. fun having you guys over now we're just going to chill this evening uh, thank you so much for watching and have a good evening or don't go for kijken
At first, I didn't know what they were saying, but oh, um, very interesting though. Uh, so the rent, I agree, the same thing as the U.S. Really expensive. Uh, what else? What else? What else? I'm trying to think. What he said in the video. Let me go back. Let me check. The food that he ate earlier, but I'll be starving after that. I eat like a big meal, so I can't do that. I eat more than that. Um, the the boat part, um, not the boat, the water part. When they said that, like you can just you know put your, push a car into it easily without no fence. That was wild. His mom got stuck in it. I was like, how? That's crazy. And then he said that they always teach every single kid there in the Netherlands, they always teach them how to swim because of that. And they're always around by water. That's very interesting. Here in the US, we don't really do that. Like, there's some people who do, some people who don't. Like, I taught at a young age to swim, but it was just, we want to go in the pool. We didn't really have to because, you know, like this. Uh, what else? Heritage. Yeah, that's cool. More facts about him and his mother. Um, if you guys want, I can give you my little heritage background, though. If you guys may or may not know, I'm Armenian and Austrian. So my mom's Armenian, my dad's Austrian. I can give you some stuff about that. Uh, what else? Social life and hobbies. Yeah, same thing, like, everywhere. I was shocked that the Netherlands was the first uh, country that pretty much passed the uh, same same sex uh, marriage, or I think it was. I was very interesting. I never knew that. I thought it was like somewhere else. Then we got traveling. Um, the car, the car thing in the Netherlands. I agree. Is very very tight alleyway, so you can't really put a car in it, and, and it's not a lot of space to park. So he said people use bike. Or they use the subway or bus. I think the bus, the subway mainly. Um, just like here in the U.S. So that's the thing. Netherlands is similar to the U.S. pretty much. Um, just some a little different here and there. We have more cars here. Uh, what else? What else? Oh, the drinking age and the smoking. After 18, you can do that. I'm shocked. In the U.S., you have to be 21 and older to drink. Smoking, I think so as well. Might be a little different. But it's smoking, they don't really stop anyone from smoking. Um, yeah, that was interesting though. And then, yeah, I mean, that's about it. I mean, it's very good video. I learned a good amount of stuff. I did a Netherlands video actually in the past, like a little bit of information about the Netherlands, but not like this detail. But I liked it so far. Um, if you guys have any other Amsterdam videos, comment down below. I'd be more happy to do any of them that you recommend. And I'll see you guys video. Peace.